Discord has a new badge that's really easy to get and of course there's an even quicker way to do it that I'll be showing you in this video as well. If you head across to Discord you may see some users with this little badge over here, completed a quest. All that you need to do to get this badge on your account is open up user settings in the bottom left, then head across to gift inventory just under payment settings and in here you should see a quest as I have. All you need to do is accept the quest and complete it. At the time of recording, the only quest and the first quest is to stream Genshin Impact to a friend for 15 minutes. This is very simple, especially if you're a Genshin Impact player. Just fire up the game, join a channel, get a friend to join you and stream the game for 15 minutes. When you do so, you'll get an in-game reward and a badge on Discord to celebrate the fact that you've completed a quest, of course, adding to your badge collection. This stays permanently on your account, at least as far as I know. This is fantastic and super easy to do. However, what happens if you're like me and you don't have Genshin Impact installed, but you still want to complete the quest and get the badge? There's a few ways that we can do this. You can rename files and stream a notepad window, for example, that you've renamed to Genshin Impact. That is simple enough to do, but there's an even easier way simply by running a command in your in-app console. Simply hit Control, Shift, and I, and if you see this pop-up, then congratulations, your Discord console is enabled and we can paste in a command to get this really quickly without even needing Genshin Impact installed. However, most likely, this won't pop up at all and Control shift and i won't do anything. If this is the case, then we need to enable the developer console. Just keep in mind, you need to be wary of what you paste in here as anything you paste in there has pretty much full access to not only your account, but your PC too. So just make sure to read over everything you paste in there and think twice. Now that we've said that, let's go ahead and enable it. Hold start, which is the flag key and press R to open up this window over here. Type in percentage app data percentage forward slash discord as such and hit enter. This will open up your discord install folder and you'll see a bunch of files in here. Simply scroll down to settings and make sure to open this with any text editor such as notepad for example. Once it opens up, you'll see something like this. The line that we're looking for is dangerous, enable dev tools, only enable if you know what you're doing and it needs to be set to true as it is here for me. You'll find this in the description down below so you can copy and paste this in if this isn't here for you. Essentially, you'll need to have an open curly bracket, a closing one and each line inside of it needs to have a comma at the very end. Simply paste this line in wherever it is, such as adding a comma, new line and pasting it in at the very end over here. Otherwise, if this file is completely empty, add the two opening and closing braces and paste in this line, which you'll find down below. Save the file and close it. Now that you've enabled DevTools, what we need to do is restart Discord completely. So on your start menu at the very bottom, we'll be locating Discord, right click it and choose quit Discord. Then we'll reopen it. And when it's done, head across to your user settings, followed by gift inventory, and you'll see something that looks like this. This is the Genshin Impact streaming quest. All we need to do is accept the quest. Then once you've done that, confirm that you're a human and bam, there we go. Now you can stream Genshin Impact for 15 minutes and you'll get the reward. Otherwise, if you've been following along, we'll be able to paste in the command into Discord. Simply hit Control Shift and I to bring up this window now that we've enabled it and head across to the console tab at the very top. Then in the description down below, head across to the next page, which is GitHub over here. Simply scroll down and you'll see a couple of steps followed by a large block of code. What we want to do is follow each of the steps in order to get the block of code working properly. At the time of recording, in the past 24 hours, this code has changed a couple of times. So just make sure to read the steps for yourself as well as they may have changed. But for now, all we need to do is accept the quest under user settings and gift inventory, which we've already done. All we need to do now is join a voice channel and get another account to join us as well. So an alt, your phone or a friend, etc. Now that we've accepted the quest, I'll close this and head across to my Discord where I'll join a channel alongside another account. So now there's two of us in this channel here. Then we'll need to stream any window, such as Notepad or something. So I'll do exactly that. We'll go live, so share your screen, and we'll choose any window. 
So I'll open up Notepad, we'll select that and go live. Now we're streaming the Notepad window with nothing in it really. Then hit Control Shift and I to open up Developer Tools, go to the Console tab and paste in the following. So we'll select everything from the first line all the way down to the last, right click and copy. Then inside of Discord, Control Shift I, head across to the Console tab and we'll paste it in here. If you see a yellow warning like this, all we need to do is type in allow space pasting and hit enter. Now we can paste in the code, read through it to make sure there's nothing too suspicious sounding here and we'll hit enter. Once you've done this, you'll see that it says we're now playing Genshin Impact and we need to stay in the Discord channel for 15 minutes. You should also see quest progress out of 900. This is 900 seconds. So if we head across to user settings in the bottom left, followed by gift inventory, you should now see that this over here is getting some progress and it should move up visibly over the next few seconds. So you can already see this line is growing a little bit, 1%, eventually 2%, etc. So this is going to take 15 minutes to complete, obviously, but I didn't have to download and install and run and stream Genshin Impact. Instead, we're streaming any window and we're just telling Discord that we're streaming Genshin Impact. Sweet. So we'll wait 15 minutes and then you should have your brand new shiny badge. As I've already completed this, you can already see over here that I now have the completed a quest badge and all it took was 15 minutes of streaming Genshin Impact. But of course, in the future, the badge requirements are going to change. When you click the badge on anyone's profile, it takes you across to the gift inventory section where it'll tell you all about quests. So why exactly is Discord giving out a brand new badge? Well, obviously it's to tell users that, hey, you can now go ahead and do things that Discord's getting paid for, which are essentially advertisements. You get something and Discord gets something as well. It's bringing attention to this brand new feature of Discord, which is cool. We get something out of it and so does Discord. Anyways, hopefully you found this video interesting. If not useful, go ahead and grab yourself the badge as it's super quick to do and very easy. And of course, you don't even need to download Genshin Impact at all. In the future, different quests are going to pop up and this one's eventually going to be removed. So this video obviously won't apply and neither will the pasting in the code to say that you're playing a different game, etc. Things will change in the future. You may need to do something in game, but for now, this is super easy and I'd recommend you go ahead and do it. Whether you're streaming actual Genshin or you're streaming Notepad, for example, using the bit of code, as once you have this badge, you have it pretty much forever. It's added to your account, which is great for most people, especially if you're a badge collector. So thank you all for watching. My name's been Troubleshoot and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.